A journey that spanned two decades and nearly five billion miles came to a fiery ending today. NASA sent its Cassini space probe, named for an Italian astronomer, slamming into Saturn's atmosphere at 77,000 miles an hour. Here's Jamie Ucas. For 13 years, Cassini delivered stellar images of Saturn. Our first look inside the rings and at the planet's 62 moons, one of them showing oceans that could potentially support life. With Cassini low on fuel, NASA decided not to risk the satellite crashing into and contaminating the moon's waters. Instead, the orbiter would disintegrate. We call loss of signal. That would be the end of the spacecraft. As Cassini broke apart, even normally stoic scientists broke down, like radio engineer Dick French. Seeing some a spacecraft that I've come to think of as a member of the family disappear really was wrenching to me. It just uh, touched my soul. In the late 80s, Cassini Project scientist Linda Spilker worked to get the satellite off the ground mile trek to Saturn. while also starting her family. Her daughters are now fully grown, and that's granddaughter Audrey. What was it like to have your daughters here with you? Oh, it was so wonderful to share this moment. Very special. The whole journey. We're so proud of her. So proud. We're so proud of you, Mom. To daughters Jennifer and Jessica, Cassini was more than just an object in space. It was an inspiration. We're both engineers, so math and science runs in the family. You know, after Cassini, we have to go back. We have to go back to Saturn. Keep exploring. I feel like this is the ultimate girl power moment. It is. It it really is. is. NASA doesn't normally cheer when a spacecraft burns up, but this was for a mission accomplished. Jamie Ucas, CBS News, Pasadena.